Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Roleplay Oblivion. We awaken in the Scurvy Raven in Oyster Bay. Today, we're headed back up the hill to Such. We're going to check out the fort. Oh, hello, hello. Giada. Hi. Uh, check out the fort and then be on our way. We don't have anything else tying us to Such at this point. Such spirits, you shouldn't leave these out in the open where people can grab them. Uh, so some quick breakfast, and then we'll bid farewell to this beautiful little cozy town. I really, I really like Oyster Bay. I think it's very cool. Very happy that I found it. Okay, uh, let's have the last of the cheese and a fig. Very light breakfast, this one. Right, the fire looks appealing. But no, we have business in Coral, which we'll get to eventually. We're going to stop at any dungeons we see along the way, especially if they are the uh, merchant quest dungeons for Felon Relis, or the dungeons that Demeter mentioned as having undead or necromancers or vampires or anything like that. I think Felon Relis's locations were Fort Hostral, Fort Wariel, and some other fort. I think Fort Hostral has vampires, so we'd be going in there either way. Right. Shadow Hand, farewell. Uh, farewell. Just saying goodbye. Say bye to Dean if we saw him, but he may have slept in to kill off his hangover, who knows. We'll say bye to Connor, though. Good dog, Connor. Beldeburo, which we conquered. Yeleri, which we did not. Dry Stump Cave, which we conquered. We did get a pretty cool new shield, though. Check it out. I like it. I could probably start putting on more of my uh, Drake fired gear since I now have a shield that kind of matches. Look at this. Beautiful. I would really like to come back here someday, thinks Nebish. Gorgeous spot. Also, I understand the. Uh, Demeter told us that there's a really huge, he said, alien ruin. Oh, look at that manor. The manor's got a beautiful view, I bet. Um, there's a huge alien ruin, he said, if you go right up the Brenna River. Which I don't think we'll be doing, but that's interesting. Ah, such. It feels like we were in a whole other world down there, but we're not very far from this town. So let's see. We do have a vendor or two here that we could perhaps sell some things to. Keep walking. Hi, are you? Th you're not the blacksmith, are you? You're not open yet? Razor's Edge. Hey, Dwip. Uh, Dwip's puppy, rather. Hey, Dwip! Yeah, crap. Well, we'll go to the inn. Maybe the mayor will buy some stuff from us. What time is it? Oh, yeah, it's still very early. Why did we get up this early? Get lost. Dude! Just walking by you. Holy cow! <laughs> Look at all these people. Okay, where's the mayor? Uh, Who are all of you? Terrellis, 
Well, Gwendolyn. How are you? Marina. Julius. Is a land of rugged wastes <gasps> That's the mayor. Forest. Good morning. Of the I kind of like the idea that all these people are checking in with the mayor. Like, maybe these are his administrators or something, his advisors. But they're all talking about bullshit. Oh, you. You know what? You need to like me more. We need to talk. Alright. Might not respond well to compliments, okay? Her disposition is 37. Blah, 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 what a bore. Hmm. Ugh, that's foul. Coercion? Talk tough to me. I love tough guys. Hmm. Not having any success so far. Really? Interesting. Hmm? Game's lagging here. I wish I could say that. Remarkable. Good. I'm on a bit of a streak. What a great story. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you. Let's see how far we can push this. I salute you. Most impressive. Ah, there we go. I think we're parting as friends. Can't do better than that. I agree. Perhaps next time you won't be so short with me. Good, look at that, we made a friend. And the Red Ranger of Krim are just a bunch of thugs. Thugs. Goodbye. Hi. So who's over Nobody here? Goes How do you do? Hi. What can I do for you? Just, uh, just here to talk. Fortune was with me the day I landed in Anvil Harbor, though you wouldn't have known it if you'd met me back then. I was the last survivor of a merchant fleet that sank off the coast of Valenwood. While recovering in Anvil Chapel, I heard about this place. You got out of Anvil Chapel just in time. I had lost everything at sea anyway and figured I had nothing more to lose, and now I make my fortunes selling my goods to the nobility. You trade, do you? Not, not to me, though. Farming? Such has some of the most fertile land in all the Gold Coast. I'm amazed that nobody thought to obtain a village charter sooner. Well, there was a f rather populated fort here. Farewell. Farewell. Alright, let's see if we can talk to the mayor or not. As you know, security for the town is paramount. I've been thinking, and I've come to the conclusion that we need to establish a legion outpost. Any operation of this, oh, an operation of this magnitude will require resources, manpower, and lots of hard work. I have decided to recommission the constru reconstruction of Fort Such. I could use your assistance in this if you're willing. The old ruins need to be demolished before we can rebuild. It would be very helpful to have a dedicated demolition team. I can use the miners for the work, but the demolition will take much longer that way. Huh. If you wish to help out, I'm sure you could find someone in Coral or Anvil to do the work. The more we get, the faster the job can get done. Interesting. This is very cool. I didn't know that there was a, a um, quest related here. Cool. Oyster Bay? What do you know about Oyster Bay, Mayor? Yes, it's a settlement from the days of old when Anvil itself was still ruled by pirate kings. Kevin Klein among them. They help with our weekly ebony shipments, and as long as they honor the arrangement we have, we leave them alone and they leave us alone. I like the idea of, like, benevolent pirates. That's, it's just, I don't know, it's just really cool. Oh, I see you've been down to the dock village then. A nice guy, strange name. Dear Dread Pirate Dean. Nobody knows who he really is, though. I doubt he'd tell you. He and I have sort of a, an arrangement. He keeps the riffraff out of such, and I help spread his stories around to keep people guessing. That's funny. So Pajmil's part of the problem, or part of the story. I've even given him a tombstone in our graveyard just to keep people from asking too many questions. Smart, Pajmil. I think uh, it's wise to have Dread Pirate Dean on your side. He seems like a gentleman. I've already explained the situation. If you want more, no more, go ask him. Okay. Enough. All right. So, to you. Good to see what did he say? It was a coral uh, and anvil. I've already forgotten. Where we can find people that would help dem demolish the fort. Anvil or coral. Okay. Really? Well, I'm going to coral, and I'm sure I'll be back. Excuse me, to Anvil Greetings soon enough. In the meantime, though, we could go scout out the fort ourselves and see exactly what they're demolishing and make sure that there's no bad guys in there. Denigor's Folly. Yeah, we don't need to check out the mine. The mine is operational. But we're going in the fort.
You know what? I have. I'm, I'm going to try this. I haven't cast it yet. I have this slow fall spell, don't I? Where is that? Lesser slow fall. Let's try it. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Perfect. Whoops. Yeah, helmet on, actually. That's a good idea. Night Eye equipped. Activated, rather. Right. Which way was the door? It was this way. Here goes. Not sure what to expect in there. Could be bandits, which I think is what somebody mentioned was in here. Demeter maybe mentioned bandits or marauders. But then... I don't know what to expect with such being here. Holy crap, somebody's right here. What's that? Mercenary. Oh boy, this guy's gonna be tough. Ooh, he blocked me. Dude, man. Have him now. Ooh, he fainted me. Ow. Oh, what? He, oh my god! He got a spinning bonus on me. I didn't even see him swing the blade. Dang. Okay. Hmm. Ha-ha! Surprise! Yeah. Ow. Die, ah. Shield bash. Oh, god, I'm out of... <laughs> I'm out of... I did a shield bash, but I'm out of fatigue. Uh... That would help. As would... Sure, what the heck. Ow, 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 dude. Haha. <laughs> ow, you got a headshot on me. Okay, so that, that didn't work very well, actually. Dude, back off. You're huge. Jesus. You wore through my night eye. Uh-oh. It's hard to tell what I'm looking at here. Send your bloody soul straight to Southern Guard. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Flying leap he got me with there. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. This sucks. This guy only needs like one or two more hits. Oh. Just. Oh my god, I missed. There. For Christ's sake. Look at that. He almost killed me. That dude was hard as hell. <laughs> Man, he's just the first guy. He's got nothing worth my time. Man, oh man. Hard gate, huh? First off, let's heal up. Actually, let's arm some arrows. Mmm. That hurt. Yes. There we go. Now, I don't know which way we should go here. Can I actually go this way? I could. Let's go this way first. Actually, let's open this just in case we need to come back. Oh, there's a lever over there anyway. That's okay. We'll go this way anyway, since we opened the gate. Uh-oh. They're not in this room. They are in the next room, though. No, no, no. Give me the cursor. There it is. Is 
It's a big room. Can they get through that gate? No. But they could. Maybe it's locked. This is a huge room. Needs a key. Okay. So I won't be killing those two directly. At least not right away. Oh, also, guys, I'm sure somebody mentioned it to me already, but I noticed watching my videos that I missed a chest in the final room in Beldeboro, which I hate. But... Can't do anything. I mean, I could go back, but I'm not going to. That's just silly at this point. What are you? Game. Orc, it looks like. Somebody was sleeping. These guys were sleeping, and I've taken them by surprise. This is great. <gasps> That's awesome. This is how I would have come in. Yeah. This is how I would have come in if I'd come in the main. What was the point of that little passage then? All it was was just a way over there. Hello? Thanks. I'll take it. What is this? I gotta wait for my night eye to wear out so I can see if I can even read this. No. They've got some... Wait. Oh, that's just a weird black column. Or, uh, uh support, rather. I thought that was a banner or something. Okay. I heard voices. Where are they coming from? Might have been those guys over there. So there's nothing else going on up here. I could jump down there. Could go that way, or I could go this way. I think I'm going to go this way first. Yes, I know I'm sneaking, and there might not be much reason for me to sneak, but... Uh-oh. This goes further in. Ancient wooden door. Oh, this is... This is the basement. The downstairs area. goes back up. Where does this go? Hard door. Ooh, the music was timed perfectly there <laughs> for that door creeping open. All you had in here? Behind a hard lock? Okay. This might take me to where those guys are. I don't know, though. Oh, yes. You know what? Hang on a second. Let me quick save. <laughs> Just in case. <laughs> Sneak attacks for the win. Especially when they're as tough as that first guy. Man. I wonder what these mercs are doing in here. They have to know that the town's out there, right? They can't have been in here for two years. <clears throat> you would think that a fort 
right next to a town with guards and stuff like that would be a terrible place to hang out. Elven longsword, nothing terribly interesting though. So I still don't have a key to this, right? No. Silver dagger. Six alien coins. Okay, then what's over this way? My god. Okay, this is a dead end. More ways down, it looks like. Whoops, sorry, I meant to quick save and I accidentally turned off the recording. You didn't miss anything, I just started coming down this passage. That's right here, this is that dead end that, I, that you just saw. Sorry guys, I hit the wrong button, I apologize. Whoa, this is going way down. Thank goodness for water walking. Keep our little toesies from getting wet. Nothing over here. This is a very strange and interesting fort. Hear the water dripping? Wow. Trapdoor to the Gold Coast? Where does this take me? I, I'm going to go out because I'm curious. Even though I'll be coming right back in. Okay, it's going to be bright. Ah. That's the fort over there. Otherwise, I don't recognize this area at all. Must be on the other side of the fort uh, from the town. I wonder why they. Maybe that's how they get in and out. They get in and out this trap door so nobody in the town even knows that they're in here. So there was no point really. <clears throat> I mean, nothing worth our attention down here apart from that door and that one chest over there. So I think then the last way to go is where those people were sleeping and I killed them as they sat up in bed, <laughs> I think. Can't get out that way because I don't have a key. Because I don't need to sneak, do I? I don't know what these illusion increases are getting me. I, I'm able to cast the spell I wanted to cast. <clears throat> I don't think I need my illusion any higher. I mean, I'm not doing it on purpose. I'm doing it for utility's sake. Okay. Anything over here? Nothing over here? Something in the crate, maybe? very big area for just one map like without any further you know deeper areas I got to look at the barrel it's here by itself that's interesting no it's not writing desk or console table or something some metal equipment. That goes back the way that I came. I think I cleared this dungeon already. Hard chest.
Thank you. Ha, yes. So it looked like this lady, excuse me, was awake. Elven shorts are very nice. Um, <clears throat> and I killed her before she realized I was there. And then these guys were in bed together, apparently? I don't know. And they sat up and like, huh? And I killed both of them. That guy would have been tough. Heavy armor. Nothing. And no key to those locked doors. Not that it mattered. I was able to get around them. That's strange, though. Uh, sure, I'll take a repair hammer. That's it, right? Oh! Almost missed this. A little bit of healing. Yeah, this I've already checked. Right! Finished! Sorted. If the townspeople knew these mercenaries were here, they need fear them no longer. Is that the end of the song, or am I fighting somebody? That was the end of the song. And this room is impressive in its size. And we had a nifty fight with this dude. I enjoyed that fight. <clears throat> okay. I think we can head back to the town. Oh, I can't get out this way, can I? Back to the town and <clears throat> perhaps sell off anything that we found. So where was that trap door? Not over here. Doesn't look like it. Would it have been over here? No, 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 no. It must have been over here where this wall is, I think. Somewhere around here. So they want to rebuild the fort, huh? I'm interested to see what happens now with this quest. If I succeed in getting people to help, will, that, will they actually rebuild it? That would be freaking awesome. You guys hear that? It's a sound effect, but where is... Yeah, this is the door. You hear that? It's localized right here. If I move away, it gets quieter. I feel I'm being watched. I should say so, I'm hearing the spookiest goddamn sounds. If it wasn't a bright sunny day with beautiful music, I would be downright terrified of that. That's strange. I wonder if that's related to the rebuilding the fort quest or not. All right, well, let's say that that fort is cleared and go check on the blacksmith, see if he's trading. Then we may have lunch at the inn, if it's that time of day, and push on toward Coral. Hello. What do you want? I don't know if I've spoken to you yet. Oh, I'm still wearing my damn helmet. I used to work the iron mines outside of Stonemore until they got tapped out. Probably would have stayed had Drought not taken our farm, too. Those pigs in Rihad were going to let my wife and I starve in the streets until we ran into some kindly old pirate gentleman. Never did get his name. Oh, Dean saved him. 
Lives down in Oyster Bay, last I knew. Incredible turn of luck since the charter here saved my family and I from certain death. Dread Pirate Dean is a gentleman. He's doing all kinds of good deeds. You're asking me about Ebony? Well, I know only very little about the process of extracting it from the rock. The real expert is Gorb Grobalza. Thanks. Um, Take care. Yeah, I mean, Dread Pirate Dean did tell us a story about how he shouted at that one guy that, Oh, look, hey, Dean, how are you? And then the guards, or the Dark Brotherhood, instantly set upon him and tried to kill him. Which is funny. But apparently, uh, independent of his uh, his having tricked the Dark Brotherhood into murdering somebody, he's actually a pretty decent fellow, it sounds like. I don't know if I need this in here, but I'll do it for your guys' benefit. Hi, we like each other now, right? It's my pleasure. Please continue. Yes, we do. Ah, uh, ooh. I can repair yes. almost anything. Repairs. Everything but my shield and my bow, pretty much. Thanks. Let's trade, shall we? Let's do business. Fourteen hundred gold, hundred elven arrows, five eb five ebony. <laughs> can't sell that, I'm keeping it. Can't sell that, I'm keeping it. Braided mask I can sell. It hardly seems worth it seeing that price, but okay. Helmet of life seeing... Is, that's it? That's all you'll buy from me, huh? Well, damn. Okay, can I use... I appreciate your business. Yes, thank you. Can I use your anvil really quick? Take care. Just hoping to sell off more stuff to him. It's been a pleasure, sir. Take care. I hope such continues treating you well. So I wonder who it is we're supposed to be looking for to help demolish the fort. Man, if I wasn't playing a character who hated horses, I would be rather tempted to buy a horse right now <laughs> and just ride straight to Coral. So much speedier. Ah, the mayor! How are you? I'm doing pretty well. What can I do for you? Let's just see what you got for food, huh? I offer the finest goods and lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. We're heading out into the woods. I know we have food on us, but we're kind of out of bread and cheese and uh, That's a veggies good and stuff. Mutton is so heavy. That's a good deal. Glad you think so. A pleasure to serve you. Thank you. I'm through talking to you. Okay, I'm just going to roll out some lunch here. And something to eat. Um, arsenic. No. Apple. Corn. Cheese. And maybe another fig. Pajmil, I really like your town and Oyster Bay. I will be back soon, hopefully with good news regarding the demolish, demolition of the fort. Oh, it's Lord and Lady Drad. I wonder what they do in here. Looks like they came to talk to the mayor. And having talked to him, now they're heading out. Alright. Farewell such. We leave you behind with a slight ache in our heart. You and Oyster Bay were a pleasant surprise.
There it is. Whoa. Okay, so now where where do I want to go? Let's check the map. Nope, this one. We are here. Uh, Hostral has vampires. We could head in that direction. But we're actually going for coral long term. What we encounter on the way, that's that's whatever we encounter on the way. I guess we want to head in a roughly this direction. We'll need to be on the lookout because we'll be in the open. There'll be wolves and rats and hopefully that's the worst we have to deal with. Quick save, because I think I would imagine it may be auto saved coming out of the end, but let's be careful. Look at this country. Beautiful. I'll put on my helmet just in case. We're in a little area with ponds, it's sandy area. And there's a camp over there. And an alien ruin up there. What's this? Nice little waterfall. Rat? Looks like a rat. Well, we could say hi. I guarantee you these people aren't friendly. There's a lot of them, too. Hello? Are you? You are hostile? 